You are now listening to the Highly Evolved Podcast with your host, Safan. Transmission will commence momentarily. How are you guys doing? This is the Highly Evolved Podcast. My name is Safan. You can find me on Twitter and Gab.ai. And first thing first, if you're a socialist, communist, Marxist, and SJW, please exit the show. And on that note, let's start the show. I want to uh, turn on the music for you guys. I know you like jazz, but not at the moment. I just want what ha- I just want to address what happened on Saturday. Yesterday was Saturday. Um, during the Trump rally in Wisconsin, it was a great it was a great rally. Right, addressed all the BS that's going around the government right now. Right, um, that day, the same day. He, that the Trump rally happened is the same day that the correspondent dinner. If you don't, if you don't know what the correspondent dinner is, basically a bunch of journalists gather in Washington D.C. try to try to pat themselves in the back by generating fake news, right? And they're kind of mad because the president's not there. This is what I don't understand, right? Why would you? Why would the president go to a place to get chewed out by a bunch of people that don't like him? Right? Isn't that like setting him up for a trap? And not only that, that the president show up, the the secretary of um, was that um, Sarah Sanders, right? I forgot what's her title. Sarah Sanders didn't go to because normally um the press secretary. That's what I'm saying. That's what I want to say. The press secretary usually shows up to to have like um to build a relationship with the press, right? But she didn't show up, and I think that she did the right thing. What is she? Last time she went, they totally screwed her over, talking smack about her, right? And I don't see no benefit for any Trump administration to go to the correspondent dinner, right? They one says in good nature to make fun of people, but the true intent is to make to berate them, make them look bad. That's what it is, and I think that Donald Trump did the right thing and not going to this stupid press um, dinner, whatever the heck it is, right? Like look 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 at this. If you put put yourself in his, his perspective, if you have a dispute with your enemy and your enemy invites you to a dinner, would you go to his, his your enemy dinner? All right. If you are in dispute with somebody who hates you, right, all of a sudden or try to do some harm to you and they invite you to dinner, would you go? No, you wouldn't go because these are your people that don't like you. Why would you go to a punch place? Why you? Why would you go to a place? That's infested with people who don't like you. I don't understand that, right? So he went to the he so and and to counter that he decided to have a rally, which is counterproductive because not only is a rally a rally, but it's also a way to campaign for the 2020 election. That's a good thing. So he Donald Trump found a good way to campaign while having a rally, all right? Instead of waste his time on this correspondent dinner joke, which is stupid. All right, it's so dumb. This correspondent dinner. It's not a roast, all right. It's basically a stupid dinner where all these fake journalists try to pat pat themselves in the back. All right, these liars, these media company. But anyway, he have a back to Donald Trump. He have a wonderful rally addressing what's to come. Right, challenge all Democrats, saying all this stuff about the Democrat nominations. Right, that they're BS. They're not, they don't have a chance of winning, right? Wisconsin's totally for Donald Trump, right? Hillary didn't even campaign in Wisconsin, right? What? <laughs> I don't think any Democrat would want to campaign in Wisconsin. <laughs> but I don't know. I might be wrong, but they have no choice, no chance. These Democrats are dumb as heck, right? So people showed up. It was a packed arena, by the way. It was packed. There was a lot of people, all right? And Diamond Silk was up there, all right? Donald Trump gave a, a long speech. It was like, oh my, what, an hour and a half long speech? And this comes from a 70-year-old guy, 72. He's able to do that. He was making fun of Joe Biden, how old he was. <laughs> and he's still young. <laughs> and he's still able to crack jokes, all right? Yeah. Donald Trump basically solidify his 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 rank. These Democrats got no chance of winning. And now they want to push Joe Biden, sleepy Joe Biden. And Donald Trump made a funny distinction 
distinction that Elizabeth Warren is out. <laughs> She's not winning. He was, he was looking forward to campaigning against her, but Pocahontas is out. And he was saying that he got more Native blood in him than Elizabeth Warren, and he's not even Native, <laughs> which is funny. All right, well, <sighs> and uh, Donald Trump wouldn't win. I'm going to say he's going to win the next election. Now he's going to do more campaigns, more rallies. Right, with this court, if he were to go to the stupid correspondent dinner, right, it would it's not kind of it's not kind of productive, right? Why wouldn't he go to a place to get attack? Then he go to a place and have a rally and campaign. Right? It doesn't make sense. You want to campaign because right now what I see what what Donald Trump is doing, he's campaigning early, right? He's campaigning early. He's already beginning campaigning. That's what it is. This rally is a campaign. So he's already starting it. Most presidents don't even campaign until l- l- the year before, right? So he's having he's getting a jump start, and clearly he's he's gonna win this. I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna win. He's gonna win by a landslide. The Democrat got no candidates, no message. Their message is pushing people back and back to the left, right? Their their campaign are are mixed message. Their 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 party are destructive, counterproductive, then got no clear meaning or message. I said that so many times because it's true, right? The, the Democratic is about to break up, right? There's so many conflicting ideology within the party, right? One is further to the left, the other is more moderate, the other is centrist. They're like, what do you, what do you guys stand for, huh? Democrats? You guys are clearly breaking apart. This is the destruction of the Democratic Party, right? And the destruction of the media, right? The media... The media have the reason why they had the correspondent dinner is to show to give you know to have some kind of authority figure or some kind of um what's that word I'm trying to look for not authenticity legitimacy right by having the president there now the the president's not there so what kind of legi- legitimacy they have now they got no legitimacy at all all right they got no legitimacy because he's not at their stupid dinner all right but I just want to make a, this video addressing the the Wisconsin rally. It was a great rally. He gave a great message. He signed within. He mentioned that he signed out of the UN deal. That was that was a big deal because we're we're paying for the UN troops and all this stuff for no reason, right? We're paying for this for this um for helping them out. And we're not gonna get nothing back. And I think when he signed that thing that we're gonna withdraw arms from the UN, that's a good thing because compare our army is way bigger than the UN. The UN the UN does not have any army. All right, the UN does not have any army. By us taking it out, that means they got not, no credibility at all. We have the biggest army. The United States has the biggest army, the biggest navy. You you dictate, you you determine uh, the, how strong the country by how big the navy is, right? And the, and the United States is among the biggest navy. That's why you see countries like China are scrambling to create a navy. All right, they're scrambling to create a navy. But the thing with China is. The difference between China and U.S. is that China have both coasts. I mean, not China. Let me take that. America have both coasts, Pacific and the Atlantic, right? China only have access to the, the to the Pacific. They don't have no access to the Atlantic. They probably have, yeah, yeah, they don't have they have no access to the Atlantic. This is why China is spending so much money investing in Africa because they won't have they won't build a base in Africa, so they have some kind of um, some kind of um, statement in the in the Atlantic coast. All right. This is why they they China is injecting so much money, so much resources into Africa. All right. Whoever get Africa are the predominant rule. That's why America are put, putting so much money in Africa as well. Put what? Some something billion dollars, sixty billion dollars in Africa. All right? So we're we're competing with China right now, all right? You determine how big, uh, how strong a country by their navy. This is why China are scrambling to build artificial islands, build planes, because they, 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 the, the reason, the one thing that China are behind is their naval, their navy, and and they're still not our technology to create their navy. All right, so this is why we we need to beat China in what they're doing. All right, but back to what I was saying. I digress on this stupid China issue, but um. Yeah, Donald Trump did a great job at the rally. You should watch it. It's an hour long or hour plus long. Um, he said some amazing things, right? 
He said some of the things I agree on. Um, like I said, I'm not. If Donald Trump does something I like, I'm, I would not hesitate to, to, um, to challenge him on it. But by watching the rally, you know. You know, I agree with most of the things he said, right? By watching the rally. But on that note, guys, let me know you agree. You like the rally? You like what he did in Wisconsin? You think he? You think he did a good thing by not going to the correspondent dinner? All right? You think he did a great thing for, for <laughs> allowing Sarah Santa to be a rock star? Sarah Santa came up there and everybody was praising her. That was the highlight of the moment. Sarah Santa was there. All right? Sarah Huckabee Sanders, let's say that. And, yeah, let me know you agree you liked it. This, on that note, guys, I just want to say I'm unmonetized. I'm not funded by anybody. That means I'm not bounded by anybody's opinions. I right? bet my own. If you like what I do and you want to support, please follow me on Twitter, Gap.ai, and most definitely subscribe because I want to get as much of my content to as much people as possible, spreading my message to as much people as possible. And it's only for patriots. Well, it's not only for patriots. People who's willing to change the way of thinking. That's what it is. If you're a communist <laughs> and you want to change the way of thinking, you know, just listen to other people's videos. Don't just judge them by by the looks and stuff like that but if you want to support most definitely hit subscribe like share follow me on social media and i don't know guys i'll see you guys in the next broadcast this is the hollywood hollywood podcast my name is safan and i'm signing out peace you guys have a good day